Hello everyone, it's time for Morning Briefing, and this is Beef O'Brady's, okay? Don Busker is a friend of mine, and he has, I think, two or three franchises. The food is out of this world. If you've not tried beefs, you need to go by and say, hey, Don would appreciate me eating here today, but instead I'm going to drink some coffee. That's pretty good. And we're going to talk about a guy today that kind of looks like the devil, and he's a lot meaner than the devil. He's got a long criminal history, and you're just not going to believe this. This is Andres Garcia. He's 29. He's from Haines City. I don't know how a dude can get so mean and so bad at less than 30 years of age. So he's at a bar, Mimos, in Haines City, sitting in the parking lot smoking marijuana. And our victim walks up to him and asks, hey, you got any pot I can buy? And the guy tries to grab our victim and drag him into the car. Well, he breaks away and leaves. Then he shows back up at Mimo's bar later on. And who's there? Andres Garcia. They sit in different areas of the bar with their different friends. At the end of the night, our victim starts walking down Smith Road. And guess who he bumps into again on Smith Road? Andres Garcia. Andre Garcia thinks that he's been disrespected. You know, when you start drinking alcohol and smoking dope, you don't think so good. At the end of the day, Andres pulls a gun and shoots our victim three times. He survives. Our deputies and detectives, who you know are the very best, start working on this case. We ID'd and found Andres Garcia. So our detectives went to the house to arrest him. Now, there's things you can't make up, and this is one of them. Upon our arrival, two females run out the back door. We catch them. They're 16 years old. They are runaways, and he's putting them up. Oh, that's not all. He's prostituting them. That's right. Now, he's not only wanted for attempted murder, but for human trafficking. He's, they're paying with sex to stay there. And he's lining up his buddies or business to have sex for money. And then he's making a percentage of the money. So we were able to find these two 16-year-olds who were victimized, get them back to their family, add more charges on Andres. This guy's already been to prison, got a long record. Now he's got a whole lot of real serious charges. He needs to never, ever, ever be out of prison again. So we're going to take him to court and see what the jury says. So think about this. There's lots of devils in the state prison. We need to add one more. See you all later.